me talk about the mortgage figures first though. Uh, good morning everyone. Yes, in the last data we had, it showed that there was a fall in the number of new mortgage approvals down to the lowest level for more than a year. Now, one of the problems in the housing market is the rising number of people who have become mortgage prisoners. Now, this is where they are essentially stuck with deals that they can't afford anymore. A typical scenario is if a homeowner has uh, come off a cheap introductory rate and then they're unable to get a new mortgage deal because the value of the house has fallen and so they're in negative equity. Well, we spoke to James from London who took out an interest-only deal five years ago when rates were very low. The arrangement I had in the first place was um, an interest-only mortgage, but a huge prerequisite for my circumstances was that I could port this mortgage, which means move the loan from the existing property when the time came to another property. So I put my house on the market, had an offer accepted, found uh, another property, had an, uh, put an offer in on that which was accepted, and this is when the bank decided to change the goalposts um, and basically reneged on the, the initial terms on the, on the mortgage, um, stating that it was no longer an interest-only mortgage and it had to be a repayment mortgage, which effectively quadrupled my monthly payments. So I had to uh, cancel the move. Well, with me now is the independent housing expert, Henry Pryor. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Steph. Uh, a lot of people in James's situation, aren't there? There are, more and more. And we have to remember that, of course, uh, for people like James, uh, when we remember that people usually move house once every five or seven years, people like James who bought perhaps uh, in 2007, 2008, uh, perhaps with a 10% uh, deposit, which is all you needed then, uh, have seen in many parts of the country that equity wiped out. So they've no longer got that deposit that they put down originally. And not only that, they therefore don't have the 25% deposit that most lenders now require uh, new borrowers to have. Is there anything people like James can do? Because it essentially does feel like they are prisoners. They're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, we think there are probably a million, million and a quarter people like James who are effectively prisoners in their own home, struggling to find the necessary deposit in order to be able to move on and get on into the housing market. Uh, there are things that people can look at doing, and most importantly, as with all these things, we, all, we often remind people, talk to your lender and talk about the kind of circumstances you're in, because mm -hmm. there are government initiatives and also initiatives coming through for the new industry uh, in order to help people move. We have to remember that this is a, this is a new uh, a landscape post the credit crunch, where, people, where, where we were keen to try and stop people from borrowing the 110% loan-to-value mortgages that they took out then, and this is how the, the landscape now looks. Mm. Part of the problem, though, is that interest rates, the bank base rate, is still incredibly low, but we've seen some lenders put up their standard variable rates anyway, and there are others that have, have a lot of fear that this might happen to their mortgages. Do you think that is likely? Well, I'm afraid that we're going to find probably that, that, uh, that, that circumstances in the market tightens even further through the remainder of this year, and certainly we're expecting uh, mortgage numbers that are